So today we're going to be working on a group project known as Create a Quiz. What you guys have, what you guys are going to be doing is you're going to be creating a 10 question multiple choice quiz and it's going to all be about bonding. Each one of your questions is going to have four choices, so there's no true or false. You're going to be working in groups and each group will turn in one project. So you want to make sure everybody's name is on it. And you can have up to three people in your group. I suggest working with your lab groups. Let's make sure all the online people are involved in this. But we are going to be turning in just one copy. Here's the form you guys are going to be filling out. The quiz is going to be created by these guys here. This is where your names are going to go. If we have time, we're going to be trading quizzes and have the quiz taken by someone else, which is why we have to do this the right way. Do not fill in this spot right here. Write your question here. Write your four choices here. Now, at the end of this, you also have this sheet. This is the second sheet you're going to be filling out. Who created the quiz? There's the rules for the quiz. Quizzes have to be appropriate, too difficult, or too easy will cause you not to receive credit. You're going to get a point for each good question you write. It can't be too easy. It can't be ridiculously impossible. But here is where you're going to fill out your answer key. So you write question one. Put the answer for question one here so that I know that you know the answer. So getting started is kind of difficult. How do you write the first question? What you guys can do is you can look at your homeworks or you can look at uh, the questions that I gave you in the notes to kind of get some ideas as to what types of questions we could ask. I don't want you using the same questions we wrote in the notes. That's actually my work. But you could write a question very similar with different choices. For example, if you say something along the lines of what is a characteristic of an ionic bond, you have a bunch of different choices you can pick. What are the topics? Well, here's what we've studied so far. We've talked about bonding and what happens to the properties of substances when you create a bond. We talk about bonding and energy, endothermic and exothermic properties. We've talked about um, energy being lost, energy being gained, and how that's related to the stability of a compound. Then we started talking about ionic compounds. We talked about the basic characteristics of ionic compounds. We showed you how to make positive ions and negative ions. We um, identified the terms cation and anion. And then we drew those electron dot formulas, those Lewis structures of cations and anions and compounds. And then you spent like a whole day um, drawing these Lewis structures. The second part we went through was covalent bonds and how they're different in terms of what happens to electrons. It's kind of an important thing, what happens to the electrons in a particular bond. How the strength of covalent bonds compares to ionic bonds. How we draw Lewis structures of covalently bonded objects. Remember, that's the puzzle piece thing we did. Covalently bonded substances are referred to as molecules. And we then talked about our last section, polar covalent bonds versus nonpolar covalent bonds. You can talk about um, which end of the bond is positive and which end is negative and why it's negative. We talked about that during the lecture. We've also talked about uh, if I give you two atoms bonded together, you guys should be able to pick out whether it's an ionic bond, a polar covalent bond, or a nonpolar covalent bond based on electronegativity. And we also talked about a thing called ionic character. You should be able to compare this type of bond to that type of bond and say these two atoms bonded together have higher ionic character than these two atoms bonded together. And that's about it. If you guys get working quickly and don't get distracted, you're going to have this entire thing done by the end of the period. If there's time left, uh, we'll be talking about switching these, uh, these projects and uh, letting another group try to take your quiz to see how well they've done. If not, we're just going to be turning this thing in for a grade. If for some strange reason your group does not finish by the end of the period, you will have to figure out a way that your group will get this done for homework tonight. Aside from that, if you have any questions, issues, or problems, please let me know. Other than that, have a good time.